Polar's Gold project started over a year ago on a rainy day. Um, I was living in a caravan on the Cornish coast and to pass the time I was watching a programme about Indian music um, and it made me curious as to whether there'd ever been any links between Cornwall and India. So I started Googling and amongst various things the words Kola Goldfields came up. I realised there was very, very little information out there. It was something that no one seemed to know anything about. So um, I decided we should investigate further. The Kola Goldfields, or KGF, is a mining area in the south of India, quite close to Bangalore. Uh, from about the late 19th century to 2001 when the mines closed, it drew in miners from all across the world, creating a, a real melting pot community. The Cornish were known as the best hard rock miners in the world, uh, and when work dried up at home, they would uh, travel abroad looking for, looking for work. Um, it's really well publicised, uh, the mining communities of Cornishmen uh, and their families that sprung up in, say, Australia or South America, um, we realised that next to nothing was known about the, the miners that travelled across to India. I got in touch with historians in India from the Kola Goldfields and gathered a wealth of information from them that we put onto a section on the band's website and that also gave people an opportunity to come forward and we realised very quickly this was going to be a much bigger community project than anything we'd anticipated. We've had hundreds of people contacting us from all around the world, all ethnicities, with a connection to uh, the Kola Goldfields. And it's been incredible to see how much this place still means to them and the connection they feel to each other as well as the place. Um, a real community has grown up from this. It's been a real privilege to bring this hidden part of Cornwall's history back to life. And for a while. So we knew people in Cornwall were interested in this project and interested in KGF. It wasn't until I got to Bangalore that I realised what a big deal this place is to people there. It seemed like everyone had some connection with KGF, either they'd been brought up there or their parents were from there, and they all had these incredibly personal stories that they wanted to share with us, and a lot of it would be about how proud they were of their association with KGF. You'd always be being told, did you know it's the longest train in Asia that goes through KGF? Or did you know this was the first place in India that had electricity it produced? And that sort of thing. Right from the start, it was really important to us that we worked with Indian musicians on this album. The project is the story of two communities, and so that had to be represented in the music. So it's very much a fusion, really, between traditional Cornish music and music from Karnataka and particularly the Kola Goldfields area. It was a real privilege to get to work so closely with the musicians in India. Their skill level is phenomenal um, and the dedication and time they've put into developing their music and the value that they place on it as an art form. Um, witnessing them performing and recording was actually quite a spiritual experience. We've had over 60 musicians contributing to this album um, and aside for the initial challenges of the logistics of organising that many people across two continents, it's been an incredibly smooth process um, and they've all brought something exceptional to the album. Well, it, was, it was obviously a challenge uh, putting together tracks that had been recorded, part of it in Bangalore, part of it at Cube Studios in Cornwall and then the final bits put together by us in a, in a chapel we were recording in in Suffolk. 
Um, the, the beauty of that last bit was that we were all together for the first time in the project as, as the Rowan tree and we were able to actually come up with new fresh ideas on the hoof um, which eventually did make it into the project. Um, KGF has faced a lot of challenges since the mines closed in 2001. There are problems with infrastructure, lack of employment, but having been there and seen it, it's still a remarkable and very beautiful place. And there are, there are amazing people in the community like the KGF Schools Foundation who are working really hard to bring hope back to the community there. Our hope throughout this project has been that we can draw on uh, two cultures, shared history, shared narrative, and express that somehow through music. This album is, is going to be so much better for being able to draw on the richness of, of these two cultures. Being born and brought up and trained in KGF, I have learned to explore, create, and achieve goals in my life. All the best to the future of KGF. Chandra Shekhar, Bangalore.